Yeah. Let's start with this Nordia story. We'll put a graph up here that shows, boy, they are saving costs like nobody else is. Well, and truly, they are saving costs like nobody else is because they're the only uh, Swedish bank to really reduce their staff significantly. Um, they are the only globally systemic, um, systemically important bank in the Nordic region, and they saw total costs drop 11 percent in the second quarter from year earlier. Staff fell 8 percent. They're really making a dent. And the big question, though, that a lot of people have is how? Where are they investing? Are they adding staff in the robotics aspect, in the automation units? Uh, how are they identifying the areas that can be automated? Because a lot of banks are finding it difficult. You know, can you automate all trading? Can you automate all, you know, like where, 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 do, you, where do you actually put those computers? And the CEO has said that we're going to have half as many people working uh, 10 years from now as we do now. Well, funny you say that because I was stuck in a Bank of America last week for yeah. literally four hours dealing with my grandmother's estate. And I was dealing with the bank manager and he was talking about finance with me and stuff. And he said, you know, a couple years ago I managed 30 people at this local branch and now I manage eight. And he's like, I think it's going to go to like three over the next few years. But it must have been in which business you're in. If you're in the private wealth management business, yes. you can't do that with a robot as a practical matter. A lot of the big banks are saying that's where we want to be, that's where we want to go. Right. Well, this it's is a real the, competitive business. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying, a lot of um, executives are saying, look, even Bank of America, look, we're going to reduce the sort of rote tasks that people don't enjoy doing to give people more time to interact, to help Alex with her grandmother's estate and sit there and hold your hand through the whole process. The question is, how do you do that effectively and how do you do that quickly enough to adapt to the uh, modernization? frankly, of all industries.